Hi guys. So I've been trying to use up a woolly jumper. <laughs> it's one of the harder things to use, I think, because um, it's just so fluffy. And depending on how the jumper was made, it may unravel when you cut it. But this one, this one's a machine made one. So when you cut it, it doesn't easily just pull apart unless you, you know, really uh, try to unravel it. So anyway, I sat down on the lounge the other week watching TV at night and I thought I'm going to keep making stuff until I use up this whole jumper because I'm sick of it sitting around in my craft room on my fabric shelf. Anyway, as you can see, I've only used the two sleeves. <laughs> it's so annoying. So I've still got all of this left. And what I made, oh, I've also got a pair of my son's old work pants, which were getting a bit holy and rough. But the material is really nice. And it, um, it's like a thick cotton. And when you tear it, it gives you that frayed edge really nice. So I've been trying to use up those. And what else? I used some coffee dyed lace. This was just an old curtain that I coffee dyed. Came out nice and dark. And what I made, okay, don't have a heart attack, is, oh wait, before I show you. I also had a few rolls of fabric. Now this was just plain white cotton fabric. It was selvage or something that I bought uh, three rolls at a recycle centre and I coffee dyed it. So I've been using that. And I had a jar of buttons. Now this jar of buttons was full. They're the bits of lace and that that I've got left over. This button jar was full <laughs> and that's all that's left. Um, and I've got just a little tub of neutrals like browns and creams and, and that, you know, earthy tone bits of scraps of fabric. There's a few nice little pieces in there, but most of it is just like really crappy, you know, like that's a bit of a pocket of something. Anyway, been trying to use up scraps, but as you know, it takes forever to use up scraps. So, <laughs> um, doesn't matter how many of something I make, I've still got heaps of scraps. Now, I also had this baggie of strings. I know that sounds <laughs> weird, but these strings actually were off. I've got these lays. Now, my sister, um, she gave me this whole garbage bag full of lays that she had found still in the bag, plastic bags, in a curbside cleanup. And I was like, what am I going to do with them? I don't know. Now, I've, I've been using some here and there, but what I did, I actually sat down one day and I cut them all apart. So... There's these strings in the middle and these little tubes. These little tubes I've been making beads with. I'll show that in a separate video. And the strings have been sitting in this little baggie. Yeah, I know. I kept them to reuse. Anyway, so I've been sewing them together with those strings. And <laughs> I made just a few little scruffy flowers. And I just love them. They're all kind of the same, but different. I had these little wooden uh, buttons that were from a recycle center. Um, I had some brown and creamy kind of buttons. So they're the three main buttons. There are a few of the larger size buttons in there. Um, and some that are a bit smaller. A large small medium anyway i just sat down over a few nights in front of the tv watching tv making flowers oh <laughs> and also this little tub 
it's ridiculous. I don't know how much, how many are in here. I know um, when I was kind of halfway through, there were over a hundred, <laughs> but I just kept going. And stupidly, I thought, I'm not going to stop until I use up this damn woolly jumper. But um, yeah, it's too much. You only use a tiny little piece at a time. See this one? This one you can see has a bit of, um, I don't know. I, I also had teeny tiny scraps in here that I've tried to get rid of. Bits of lace. The woolly jumper. That calico. I put this, sorry, not calico. I put this cotton as the base because it's a bit thicker and sturdy. Um, and I just sat there making flowers thinking I'll use up this whole woolly jumper, but yeah, never going to happen. Too many. Might have to make some like wintry woolly jumper journals or something. Anyway, as you make the same thing night after night, you kind of get bored with it. I did it for about three nights and I think there was a day, day or two that I might have done some through the day as well. Um... Then I was cleaning my room and I came across some little fabric bits. These were, if you followed my channel from the beginning, you'll remember some journal covers that I made out of um, this fabric. It was fabric that I had taken off an old sofa. I'll put the links to those videos down below if you didn't see them. Um, but it was really beautiful fabric. Anyway, there were these little corner bits um, that... I had kept and they've just been sitting there in a box so I thought I'm going to use those as well so I chopped them up and I also used them in some of the flowers where is one? Oh, here so I used that as a layer um, instead of the woolly jumper see that's <laughs> that's some of my son's work pants it frays so nicely Anyway, so I've got all of those and these. These ones I think I cut the bottom fabric a bit smaller. Now I'm not going to do a video showing how I make them because I've got a million of those videos on my channel already. Um, I made something like these, a bit similar uh, with the colour tones and the buttons uh, a few years back. Anyway. I'll put a playlist. I've got a playlist, actually, if you want to see how they're made. They're just easy. You just rip up random bits of fabric, put it in front of you, and um, just put them together and sew them. Anyway, so, yeah, I sewed them with those stupid strings from the lay. So these little flowers, 100% recycled materials. Anyway, I'll show you a few of them. They're all different, but kind of the same. little buttons I've got threads everywhere I think they turned out really cute I hope my video is not dark I'm using um my new phone I've had it for months but <laughs> I took forever to set this stupid thing up see these two they kind of look the same I just love them. Oh, I had some uh, maroon fabric in that little box for some reason, so I used all that up as well. I think they're so cute. I love scruffy, scruffy, scruffy flowers like this. Now, some are bit fluffier than others from memory see I really like that um, lounge material <laughs> this one I just put a whole bunch of the strings in I think they look really cute on um I don't know, just embellished journals and 
This one's cute. Anyway, that's it. I thought I'd show you them because I'll put some uh, in my Etsy shop since I made so many. Now, usually when I have a lot like this, I just put one listing and you get a bunch of random. Now, I may do that, but what I might also do is just do a few separate listings where you get the actual pack that you see in the listing. Because sometimes it's nice um, to know exactly what you're getting. See, some are darker than others, so I might put those separate because maybe you don't like grungy style. Maybe you do. I think with little cluster kind of type flowers like this, the scrappier the better. Oh my gosh, I really want to count them now. I want to know how many are here. It's like, this is like some sick obsession. See, this one I, <laughs> I just put, um, you know, the sewing threads, a whole bunch of those. I tied them in a knot and put it under just to use up some of the sewing threads because, okay. You've probably seen my sewing thread poles before. Look. I've got these two tubs of them. It's it's ridiculous. So I want to start using up <laughs> some stuff that I have too much of. I say that all the time and then I go missing. Sorry, I've not done a video in, in a long time. And I was, um, <laughs> I just ran up and down the stairs about three times before I filmed. I should have waited until I've got my breath back. <gasps> Getting fat and unfit. Okay. See, some I didn't do too many layers because I know not everyone likes a million layers. And I like them lots of layers and fluffy, actually. I think with the little woolly jumper, they look really cute. Look. These buttons are nice as well. <laughs> One day how many is here. This is, this is honestly, this is ridiculous. I can't believe I made so many. I couldn't stop. Oh, that's some of my grandma's, um ugly skirt she had a skirt and jacket with that same pattern anyway that's what i've been up to um making a zillion flowers Okay, I think you've seen enough. They all kind of look the same after a while, don't they? That one's scruffy, scruffy. Anyway, so I'll put some packs in my Etsy. Uh, I might, I don't know yet because I haven't done it yet, but what I might do is put some packs where you just get a random selection and then I might put some packs uh, listed separately where you get that exact pack so you know what you're getting. But if there's a certain type you want, you know, only brown buttons or only wooden buttons or, um, you know, only brown materials or no brown materials, just creams, whatever. They're all kind of the same anyway. I think they look the same after a while. Um, yeah, you can just send me a note through Etsy and I can put a separate listing for you. Um, and some I'll keep and put on journal covers so I can show you for once how I use the stuff that I actually make myself. Anyway, that's it. And uh, look, hopefully I'll get back to some regular uh, filming. I've kind of, I have been actually making crap in the background. Um, but 
yeah, life has been a bit crazy, as you know, the past couple of years. Um, but I want to get back to some regular filming and give my Etsy shop some love. It's been a little neglected. It's only got paper packs in it. So um, I'll get back to it, I think, this month, hopefully. And if there's any project that you'd like to see or one that I said that I was going to do but haven't, Leave it in the comments box and I'll try and prioritise those ones um, because I do have a whole shelf of unfinished projects uh, that I need to work on and I've got like a zillion journals. I've been actually cleaning the past week. I've been cleaning and reorganising my craft room and I've got like a zillion unfinished projects, some that I had long forgotten about, you know, because they get buried in a box and other stuff gets put on top. Um... But I must say I feel a lot better now because at the moment um, it's a lot more organised and I couldn't work in that chaos. <laughs> if you go to my, you know, the YouTube community tab, you know, up the top it's got videos, playlists, there's one community. If you look at that and scroll down a little, I did put a photo a week or two or three um, just a photo of one end of my desk and I've got a really long desk and that's how I felt like um, my whole craft room was chaos like that so I've sorted it now and I'll get back to <laughs> filming this month um, now that I can find stuff and I'm not so um, overwhelmed with my chaos anyway blah blah talk too much uh, these will be up in my Etsy once you see this video and uh, that's it Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.